And welcome back to Skyrim. We're playing as Esther. Um, we spent the most of the last episode getting from the Hunter's sort of respite in East March to Braidwood Inn uh, in Kynesgrove. And it's about 1 o'clock in the morning. Sorry, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and we've just contracted vampires to wouldn't disease. even be here if it weren't for my idiot sister. Um, 6.20 in the morning and we need to somehow find a cure p disease potion. Um, which I don't think... Poor Rogi. If you're drink for the thirsty, here. food for the hungry. So we're going to keep heading up um, to Winterhold. Originally, I wanted to get to Whiterun, um, where we learn more about the college in Winterhold. But now that we've got about three days to cure the vampirism, um, might be best if we head straight to. Windhelm. Uh, yeah, Wind. Yes, Windhelm. Windhelm? Yeah, Windhelm. <laughs> okay. Uh. We might just grab. Quickly grab some food. Just going to turn off the harvesting animation because that is going to get really annoying when I'm trying to. I know it's meant to be immersive, but look. If you bring mead, you're welcome here. Yes, I've wandered a bit, but I always come back to Kynes Grove. My clan was one of the first to settle here. Legend says that my forefather, Lena, discovered the mines after he stumbled into a dark cave to relieve himself. <laughs> Too much mead. Of course, there's another story of Lena losing the family shield in a different cave. So it depends on who you believe. According to my grandfather, at least, he swore that version of the legend was true. Even found the cave old Lena stumbled into. Hey, if you find it, I could show you some of the clan's favorite fighting moves. They're all shield techniques. I mean, well, a lifetime of study, you might say. Do I look like I carry the shield? The best comes from Riften, but I haven't been there in years. Ever tried making your own? It's uh, not easy. Trust me. Okay. Hopefully, that story about Lena's shield is true. Uh. All so I'm gonna steal the axe. I'm not really stealing. Lancy. Um, I'm going to need some wood, so we're going to chop some wood, because I don't know if I'm going to make winter hold in one day. In which case, I may need to start a fire in the middle of the night to keep warm. Six pieces should do it. Alright, let's head off to Winterhold. Win uh, Windhelm. Uh, not before nicking some eggs. Now, probably enough bloody food poisoning. Now, what else? 
What was I affected by? Rock joint. Yes, that's cure disease. Gonna need to fix that too. It's the safest way to trap. It's an old city, I can tell you that. The Palace of the Kings is ancient. It's not the friendliest place for outsiders. The Dark Elves were all forced to live in a slum called the Grey Quarter. The Argonians can't even live inside the walls. They're all stuck out on the docks. Still, Candlehearth Hall's got decent food and cheap bunks. And you could do worse. Okay. How do you feel? I think you might... How do you feel? I think you might be sick. Yeah, I am. Are you feeling sick? Horn? Of course. I understand. Sometimes the difference between life and death is a swift steed. Hmm, we'll go under. Why is it snowing under here as well? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Yes, mate. Alright, so off to find an apothecary. Our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm cloaks. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Wow, okay. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? Uh. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. It appeared those men were giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charm of that one. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I don't hate you. Can I get directions? Uh, 
You all right? You look like you might be sick. Yes, I'm sick. <sighs> Did you use my good hammer? No. Last girl, I told you to leave my tools alone. You have yours, and I have mine. I didn't touch it. Hammers don't have legs. Did you look? Don't take this the wrong way. But you look a little sickly. Uh, just forging armor, Sleeping please. Isn't the most exciting thing for me. But we all have to lend a hand as best we can. If a stormcloak uses one of my swords to strike down an imperial soldier, then I've done my part to free our land. You appear to be a great admirer of his. Every Nord should admire Ulfric. He fights for all of us. In fact, he's the reason I chose to learn the smithing trade. I want to make weapons and armor for the great Stormcloak army. Cool. A word of advice. Yeah. Don't buy discounted armor. Yeah, okay. Everyone says Yorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. Tell me, how does your steel fare? Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in Whiterun. I respect Yorland, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter, if that makes any sense. Not really, but um, do the troubles of late bring much work to your business? I don't see these troubles as business. This is a labor of honor to bring Ulfric his rightful glory. I would hammer a thousand shields, Shore's bones. I might just have to. Uh, okay, what are you selling? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Uh, protection? Because I don't... You don't have a cure disease potion, so there's no real point to you. Uh, what do we got here? Is that an enchanting table? Interesting. I don't haggle. If you want a lower price, look elsewhere. Uh, sure. How long have you been here? Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. Are you treated as poorly as the Dark Elves? It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in that slum. What are you selling? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Uh, any cure disease potions? <clears throat> no. <clears throat> okay. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Um... It's all probably just food based stuff. Who are you? I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. Yeah, okay. Felt the townsfolk sure. call me captain because I used to be a sailor. What name's Curry Wade here? There's an author named Adonato staying at the inn. He's published a few works of historical fiction. The clans Shattershield and Cruelsea see most of the gold that passes through the city. And obviously, you have Ulfric, the Jarl and future High King. Oh, and that busybody Viola Giordano. She's got her nose in everyone's business, which I guess is one way of being prominent. Other than work or drink, what does one do here? If you're looking to pass the time, you can give colleagues to a few septims and gawk at whatever oddity he's come across lately. If you're in need of goods, there's a market. If it's a soft bed and a hot meal you're after, there's Candlehearth Hall. What kind of captain are you? Well, nothing. At least not anymore. Folk just call me that because of what I used to do. I was a sailor for many a year. I made my coin as a trader, and in time, I bought my own ship. When I retired here in Windhelm, most folk already knew me as Captain Lonely Gale, and the name just stuck. Cool. It was a pleasure to talk to someone so interesting. Yeah. This is white file. Okay, this looks like an pocket. This looks like an apothecary. I'll be fine. <laughs> Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. We don't know what's inside. Uh, I'll... I can... <laughs> just... <clears throat> you see, you're not well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. Oh. 
If there was a tonic that could help me, I would have found it by now. Hi. I'm so close to the answer. Uh. Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file, but this doting busybody won't let me get it. If you tell me where to find it, I can get it for you. You would do that? Don't really want to, but it's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. Yeah, it's buried with its maker, Kural Mill, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kural Mill was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach its resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, don't, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. Yeah, uh, what fire? What is this you speak of? A legendary bottle, forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... poetry. What's the importance of this file? I've spent my entire life searching for it. It brought me all the way to these frozen reaches from the warm embrace of Somerset Isle. Entire years spent in libraries, seeking out tiny villages with local legends that contain but a whisper of a hint of the file. I even named my shop after it, hoping that it might attract anyone who had heard of it. And now it's within my grasp. But the eight, it seems, <coughs> have chosen me for their amusement. <laughs> for in my current condition, I'll never be able to lay my hands on it. You seem a bit ah, crazy. So you're an alchemist then? <laughs> no, I just need a bloody cure disease potion, dude. That is expensive. Thank you. Alright. Alright, let's take that cure disease potion. Why are you still standing around here? Go get me the file! I'll s yeah, right, tiger. Okay. You fool. Cool. Now. I don't appreciate loiterers. If that's what you're here to do. Yes, mate. Alright, so I'm probably going to need to go and find somewhere to rest. But what we might do is nom down on... Oh, novice Robes of Alteration. Alteration costs less. Magic Regenerate, so we'll probably put those on. Much better. Uh, probably want to sell those. Hat boots, clothes. Yeah, okay. And I think, yeah, okay. So we're going to eat a bee, a beehive, mountain flower, chicken egg, creep cluster, dragon tongue. Honeycomb, Jazz Bay, Purple Mountain, Red Mountain, 
Snowbreeze. Vampire dust. Okay, so now I've just tripped by eating everything. Can we make anything? I hope you have coin to spend and you're not just here to gawk at my goods. Hey. An interesting mixture. Okay. Yes, stop brewing. Keep experimenting. You'll improve with practice. Uh, yeah. I'll get there. I thought I had... Maybe I only had one. Okay, cool. Uh, alright. So, I mean, there's a lot of interesting stuff here, however. Alright, so let's... It's midday. Let's go and find somewhere to rest up. Might actually sell. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winter. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. Not quite, but what does harvest hanging moss give us? Oh, damage magic, great. Fresh fruit and vegetables for sale. Working in Windhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Where's the, the big dude here? Fancy robes. You looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Uh, just want to get rid of. Actually, that's what I want. I want to get rid of the eye dagger. I'm not going to use it. And those two. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, discounted armor. Don't see me. Uh, okay, so now let's find somewhere to... Can I get down? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, I don't want the holes of the dead. My job's simple enough. The dead don't really complain much. My father says we need to just get on with our lives. Like it's that easy. Uh, yeah? What? What's not easy about getting on with life? This looks like a tavern. Count of Earth Hole, right. Come on in. We've got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Olaf from the dragon. Are you a singer of sorts? What do you do here? I'm a bard, trained at the Bard's College in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Uh, sure, Bard's College, I mean. Yeah, I can sing. Uh, actually, can I make a meal? Do I have enough stuff to make a meal? I've got nothing with which to make a meal. sword. Oh, hello. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Uh, why do you call this place Candle Hearth Hall? Did you see the candle above the fire upstairs? It was lit 163 years ago, back when this building was the home of a grand warrior named Vundheim. 
When word came that he'd fallen, his son Durok lit the candle in his honor. Nobody knows why it still burns. Ah. Oh. Hey, what do you know about magic? Magic? Goodness, not here. Nothing dangerous like that. That's all kept to that college up in Winterhold. Better that than dealing with Ulfric's wizard like some do. Ulfric's wizard. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'd like to rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. And what have you got Drink for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Uh, I might buy some salt piles. Because that'll allow me to make stuff. I'll show you to your room. Thank right you. Right this way. Okay. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you. So I've got a bed for the night. Let's go up and have a look around. What's that cabbage there? Right. Well, I've got some salt. So let's see if I can make anything now. I can make cabbage potato soup or a mammoth steak. 10 10. Greatly reduce hunger. 10 10. Moderately hunger. 10 greatly. Potato soup, 10, 10. Ah, it's going to be cabbage potato soup. Then. Cool. Now let's go up and have a look upstairs. Let's look at this candle. That candle? Is that the candle? You know about Talos? Oh, huh. He founded the Empire. We're the only temple in Skyrim that can openly worship Talos. What role does Talos play in the war? The Empire's elven puppet masters never cared much for the idea of a human becoming a divine. So the worship of Talos is outlawed. Skyrim doesn't take kindly to being told what to do. And to try and forget Talos, well, they may as well ordered us all to cut off our ears. Tell me about Talos. Talos, who in life was known as Tiber Septim, united Tamriel and founded the Empire. He was rewarded for his deeds by being joined with the Divines in eternal glory. The only mortal to do so. We worship him that we might follow in his path. We can't literally join him in the heavens, but we may do our best to know them here on Nern. Okay. Blessings of Talos be upon you. Uh, thank you. Um, I might just have a seat by the candle. Actually, is there anything special about the candle? I can't touch it, can't do anything. Nope. This is nice. Okay. Well, I think we will leave this episode here. Uh, we are in Windhelm, uh, and we'll probably start heading off, stay overnight, and then head off to Whiterun tomorrow. Um, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.